This is Bumper to Bumper TV. The Halo vehicle from the Chevrolet brand has undergone a major makeover, and the top executives at General Motors are proudly boasting about the seventh generation Corvette. Like many of my co-workers want to work for the company that makes Corvette. Its presence, its performance, its history and heritage, everything it stands for has always raised the hair on the back of my neck. To underscore its importance, this two-seater has been given the designation of Stingray and a power plant to match. Here are the numbers. A 6.2 liter V8 rated at 450 horsepower and 450 foot-pounds of torque. This is set up with a direct injection fuel delivery system and silver deactivation so it can deliver racing performance or get pretty good fuel economy if that's what a driver wants. True enthusiasts will want to get the 7-speed manual transmission with active rev matching to get the most from this coupe. There is a 6-speed automatic available for those who can't figure out how to work a clutch. Even though it's wider and a little bit longer than the current FET, this vehicle is 91 pounds lighter for two reasons. Carbon fiber body panels are used throughout the car and a new all aluminum frame help trim 91 pounds off the total weight. In response to the increasing sophistication of European and Asian brand competitors, it also comes with a number of driver settings ranging from a focus on economy to competition track performance, with several options between those two extremes. Throw in HID headlights, a new set of vents on the hood and the rear, and the Corvette can match competitors in a number of key features. Of course, its introduction comes as General Motors and the rest of the domestic auto industry have begun to climb out of a major financial chasm. The question will be, can this kind of vehicle help make the company profitable in the long run? This is Greg Morris. We want to know what you think, so email us. The address is bumper to bumper TV at cs.com.